It is 11.04 and you are locked in live local sports talk radio here in the Valley. Welcome back to the second hour of McCabe and Friends. It's Kevin McCabe, your longtime voice of Valley Sports. On a Wednesday, you know what that means, we're live at Albertsons. A different Albertsons every week around the uh, Valley as we get uh, we gear up for high school football. Uh, our partnership, the Pigskin Preview, you, you got high school kids, uh, guess what? They run on crazy schedules, so why not feed them with Albertsons? They got the deli, they got the frozen pie, the pizza, they got the drinks. I got my Powerade for 79 cents. And today we're at Albertsons at Tatum and Shea, Paradise Valley, the Scottsdale border. And coming up in this hour, we're going to talk some high school football in a little bit. We'll talk Chaparral and maybe the best football program in all the state. But if you listen to this program and you listen to the last segment, you know I'm all about the Snowball Express. You heard, you heard Gary Sinise. You had me at Lieutenant Dan. I mean, you know, Forrest Gump, Lieutenant Dan, Gary Sinise. He's on board with the Snowball Express. They're good people. They flat out do great things. And they take care of our families of fallen soldiers. It's moms and dads going over there, representing our country and fighting for our freedom. And a lot of them don't come home, in, uh, including Mary's husband and Pete's dad. And they join us now. How are you guys today? You doing all right? I got the donuts. You got to be doing okay. Great. How cool is this Snowball Express group? I mean, how awesome. Uh, and, and the fact that Albertson's writing him a check today for $10,000. How neat are these people who step forward to help you with what you've been going through. You know what, it's a wonderful organization that has helped my family and I go through very hard times emotionally, especially seeing the Jones. Yeah, Jones, line two. Snowball Express. Snowball Express. Can you please put in the phone number for Jones? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, it's 1877 1877 1877 you know, he's wearing the colors, he's representing, and he's not coming home. How hard has it been, how tough, and, and how cool have these people been to step up and, and, uh, and lend a hand? It's been real hard for the past like, three years, four years. And it's been real great because uh, we meet people that have experienced what we've been through. And I'm glad that they made this organization. <sighs> no, that's what it's all about. I mean, it's real, and that's why I'm glad you're here. Um, and the kids at school, do they know? Do they know what's happening? Because they, sometimes they don't even know. Or even uh, the community, they say, oh, you know what, hey, that's great, sorry you lost your dad. What, um, do they know? Do they talk to you? Because uh, nobody can even understand what you've gone through, can they? Uh, no, not really. They, they don't know about what happened. I try to express them, but they're like, I just can't. Mary, how about you as a mom? And, uh, you know, he went over there representing our country. He ain't not coming home. But the, I can't even imagine, because i got a wife, and i got kids. So life goes on, and there's bills to pay, and it's real. How tough, how challenging. It, uh, and I don't, I don't want to take you too deep, but how hard has it been for you? Um, it's been very hard. But I don't know what I do about my kids. And then how much has that brought you together? With people like Nilo, I'm going to put on here in a minute. That they, they're going through the same things you're going through. Um, and, uh, and then you have some people who do care. How neat is that? I think we support each other. Our families, she needs me, and I need her, and especially with the Army National Guard, and my children, especially what I've gone through, my children are there for me. And has it changed, too? I mean, initially, it's it's shock. It's a, a year of, you're just underwater, and then all of a sudden you wake up, and it's real. I mean, you always people say it's a nightmare. And then you wake up and it's real. And then there's a whole change of emotions these kids go through. First, initially, they don't understand, and then they understand, and then it's even harder. Have you gone through all those things? Yes, and I still feel annoyed. Yeah. Um, but I can tell you that this is going to express. It has helped me every year to be with families and my friends that I see every year, and the children and their smiles on their face, even though the loss of their parent is still there. Just seeing them and getting us together, I think that's probably one of the most therapeutic things that my family and I have gone through. Yeah, that's great. Uh, Snowball Express, what you, did you go play golf with the guy? Well, tell me about that story. Was it with the Cardinals, was it? Yes. And who'd you almost hit with a golf ball? Oh, uh, cart. <laughs> No, it was a cart, and I almost hit uh, this old guy. Oh, just guy. a cart. <laughs> I almost hit this old guy, but uh, my brother, he almost hit Larry Fitzgerald. Okay, all right. So uh, Larry Fitzgerald on the golf course. Hey, neat stuff. I, I want to thank both of you very much and, and wish you the best, and, and thank you guys for coming by and sharing your stories. Mila's here as well. Uh, Mila, and again, I don't want to take you down a road where you don't want to go, but uh, first and foremost, how, how neat is it? when you do have people like Snowball Express, when you have Albertsons stepping up and, and American Airlines, and you have families that have gone through what you, 